Hey guys, Carl here from Official.com, your DJ and producer. Let's move on, shall we? So today we're going to talk about the solution to everything. This is it right here. I'm going to give it to you right now. This is the solution that you need to apply immediately. The first one is discipline. You need to have discipline in order to make it. Everybody else is doing their own thing, and a lot of them are running around like they don't have any kind of discipline. And you need discipline in order to make it. Um, some of the most successful people in the world have said that the top characteristics of successful people, the number one thing was discipline. So many people have said that discipline is it. So do whatever you can to learn about discipline because it's going to be your best friend. I personally have discipline on my dog tag so that I know it reminds me always to stay, to stay disciplined. So it was either that or a tattoo. Uh, the second one here is you need to be able to research a lot. If you, if you can research you can figure out you know, anything that you want to. You need to be able to use the Google search engine. You need to be able to read books. You need to go to the library. You need to be able to talk to people and, and get information from them. Learning how to get information from newspapers, magazines, articles, videos, anything you can get your hands on, you need to be able to research because everything is always changing. Number three is education. You need to have some kind of education, some kind of credibility. If, uh, if if you don't have an education, it, it's a lot harder to get you know uh, credibility in, in today's world. So you need to you need to have some kind of formal education, as well as uh, the school of Knox hard education, where basically you know you learn everything through books and stuff like that. So I, I still recommend both, but uh, a combination of both is, is more powerful than just one alone. Um, so moving on, the fourth thing is uh, systems. You need to understand systems and how they work. Every business has a system. All right, my business is autopilot. I create things one time and that way it produces income for me forever. So I produce the product one time and then it just brings in money for me. Three examples, music. You buy music one time and download it and I don't ever have to do anything again. Uh, books, ebooks. You create an ebook and it just downloads. E-courses are another one. They just download and so I never have to do it. I create it one time. Moving on, number five. Um, uh, you have to have audience engagement. You got to be able to connect with your audience, whether it be Facebook, social media, Twitter, anything. You have to be able to connect with your audience all the time. Ten percent of your content, a ten ten percent of your time should be spent making contact. The the other ninety percent should be uh, should be talking to people. So the ten percent is producing content, and the other ninety percent is engaging with the people or your fans. Remember that. Don't ever flip it. Okay, and then uh, number number six is you need to have some kind of laptop, all right, where you can go on there and you can produce this content, you know, where it has audio, visual, internet. You need to have a laptop so you can do a lot of stuff because there's going to be a lot of programs that you're going to be learning, and a lot of them can be offered through my favorite is the Mac, the, the MacBook. So make sure you have a laptop and make sure you get your workflow in order. Make sure you're comfortable because you're going to be behind that a lot, uh, creating products that produce residual income for you on autopilot. And then the uh, seventh one is, is have mentors. You need to have mentors who are going to teach you. And you're going to go through a lot of different mentors, but you need to have mentors from different areas like finance, internet, marketing, sales, school, life. You need to have mentors in all these different areas. And don't go crazy about it. Just know that, you know, have a bookmark that has a list of all the mentors that you're currently, uh, you know, like your five best mentors. And just constantly learn from them a lot. Like learn and apply what you learn from them. Okay? Uh, you don't have to have like physical in person mentors, but if you want to go that route, you can too. But um, number eight is you have to have passion. If, you're, if you want to succeed in anything in life, you need to have passion because that's what's going to get you through the rough times. Passion has gotten me through everything. It, it really has. Um, I don't know what else to say other than you just need to have passion for what you do. So as you learn these different systems from other people, Keep in mind that that's probably their passion and it's not your passion. So you need to take what you can learn from these other people and then apply it into your own business. But assuming is it, assuming it um, is in, in unity uh, uh, as your own passion. So everything needs to be one unit. It, you have to be passionate. You can't be passionate about one thing and then not be passionate about another that another person's passionate about. And you know they don't blend. So you got to take what you can from other people, uh, other people's passions, and put it into your passion. So you got to be passionate. That's a lot of passions. Alright, so number nine is strategy. You have to have strategy in order to make it. Alright, so you learn these things from these other mentors and stuff like that. And then you need to apply them 
some of the some of their different strategies so that you can make it. Um, you know, it's like it's kind of like strategies strategies and plans are kind of similar, but the thing is, a, a plan is just a plan, right? You plan to do that, but if you're strategically planning something, you know, you, you're going to have a better chance. You know, you'd be able to test that plan if it's strategically uh, written out or if it's not written out and it's not strategically planned then you have no way of testing it later on to see if it worked or not so focus on the strategic business you know strategically doing things in, in all day of life you know whether it be trying to get a discount on something or whatever, or whatever you know just learn to be strategic about anything you do so you can test the results alright and then the last one is different you need to be unique and different don't be like everybody else. Be different. For me, what makes me different as a DJ and producer is that I'm incredibly good at researching things. Um, I have a marketing degree. I'm, I'm, I'm working on my master's in, in, um, in master's in business and information systems. And I'm a former Marine. Like, I'm different, you know? So I can say those things when people ask me. Uh, I have built my own website. I built my own app. I skateboard. I snowboard. I paintball. Like, I do all this stuff in addition to being a DJ, so I'm different. So I hope that helps you guys out. Those are the 10 things that you need to know. That's the solution right there. Good luck.